Hi, I'm Gabriella and I go by Feeding Wolves. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to record live motion capture data with the Xsense Link suit and the Manus Prime 2 gloves inside of Unreal Engine. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to retarget this motion capture data onto the female metahuman character. In addition, because the metahuman character has the UE Live Link face already built into it, I'm going to record some facial motion onto our motion capture data. Once you retarget the data to the female human character, you can go ahead and translate that animation onto the male character as well without having to do any extra steps. I know it sounds confusing, however, it's actually quite simple. So let's get started. Okay, so before I calibrate the suit and the gloves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the MetaHumans project and I'm going to export the female character as an FBX. We're then we're going to go ahead and import that FBX into a 4.25 project so we can use the MVN LiveLink plugin to record some live mocap data onto her. So once we import the mesh, we're going to go ahead and create a T-pose facing the x-axis. We're going to create a remap table and assign all of her bones. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a live link. In order to do that, you're just going to right click, go to animation, you're going to go to animation blueprint. Once you select that, you're, you're going to right click, type in live link, pose, and then you're going to select this over here. I'm going to go ahead and activate Xsense right now and you'll see how that works. Go to source, you're going to select Xsense live source. You're going to see over here that we are activated. You're going to go back into the meta live link. You're going to select the new source. So I've got the suit calibrated. I've got the gloves calibrated. And by the way, I just wanted to say thank you to Anna Fermanis for teaching me a cool little calibration trick. I have an extra pair of gloves on under here because my hands are kind of small. And um, when I'm noticing that the fingers are looking a little odd, I do this and it seems to actually straighten them out pretty well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and activate the MetaHuman Live Link that we've created. I'm gonna hit Compile, and we're inside, live, hi. You're gonna go back here, you're gonna drop your Live Link source in here, and then you're gonna go to Add Component, Live Link, Skeletal Animation, so you can see this. Go ahead and select my Live Link. I'm going to drag her in here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to press record. Press record and as you can see in 3, 2, 1, we are live. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got this animation. Nice and simple, right? I'm going to find this recording inside of the cinematics right here. So we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to go to Asset Actions and we're going to migrate. We are in the MetaHumans project. We've migrated our animation. It's going to be found here in the cinematics. We're going to go to Takes. Go to our animation. So in order to retarget the animation, we're going to go to Skeleton. And we're going to select a humanoid. When you select the humanoid, you get this over here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the female MetaHuman character. and go to the skeleton as well. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go ahead and select a humanoid rig. <clears throat> Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna go back to our animation skeleton over here, and we've selected this as our preview mesh. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our animation again. Right click, retarget animation asset, and you're gonna get this window. And this is our animation, and we're gonna go ahead and retarget it to the human, female, retarget, and it created a new one for us. Create a new map. We're gonna go ahead and drop our female metahuman blueprint in here. Select our metahuman. We're gonna go to body. We're gonna use an Animation asset. There it is. 
we're going to go ahead and add a live link skeletal animation. So now it's playing in our viewport. Perfect. And then we're going to activate the face. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and on my iPhone, I'm going to turn on the live link face app. And I've got it pointing at my face. Um, if it's not working for you, like it is right now for me, what you do is you go to the face over here, you double click over here, you're going to go to blueprints, and you're going to make sure this is activated right here. See? Hi. Okay, we're going to go ahead and compile, save, and we're going to go right back over here. And everything is playing at the same time, our body data and our face. So let's go ahead and record this now. I'm going to go ahead and use Sequence Recorder. I'm going to drag her into Sequence Recorder. And we are going to name this Xens Manis Face. And let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and press record. This is pretty cool, right? Let me get my eyes to be moving and looking at my hands making some facial expressions. <laughs> okay, so that's good. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on the XN's Mana's face. There it is. Let's go ahead and play it. So here's our animation. The whole purpose of this video was to show how to get the actual motion capture data from Xsends into this project. And it was a little extra on how to capture the face moving on top of this animation and how to record it. All right, to take things a step further, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her into a cinematic sequence over here. We're gonna drop her in. We're gonna remove the control rig, the face control rig for the body. We're going to go ahead and add and then for the face, now let's see what this looks like, play it all together, cool. To take things a step further, I went ahead and wanted to see if the animation I brought in on the female also worked on the male without having to do any extra steps. So I went ahead, created a sequence, I added the exact same animation I recorded onto the female onto the male as well, without having to do anything extra. And I created this little sequence. As you can see, the data is playing on both of them. So if you record anything on one character, it works on the other one as well. Now this was just a test. This was in no way a tutorial. If anybody wants a detailed tutorial on how I did this, I try to keep this as short as possible just to demonstrate a few of the steps that are involved in getting this done. If anybody has an easier way to do this, that would be wonderful. And um, the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out how to change the UE Live Link face blueprints with the Faceware live client blueprints and test out what the quality would look like and how it would be different. So thank you so much for watching. I also want to give a special thank you to JS Films because his tutorials actually helped me figure out some of the steps in order to get this to work. So thank you very much, Jay, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.